All right. Sorry, I let my table get super nasty. Not really like filthy nasty, but it's, it's got stuff all over it. So we're going to be doing a uh, really close, really quick. I know I say that all the time, but really quick uh, unboxing. Um, my friend just handed me my copy of Ta -da, Hero Realms. I've already played this a couple times. Um, another friend's copy. And I must say, as excited as some people get about these things, and it, it the majority of it is still Hero Realms, but I, I swear these are like training wheels for magic. So you might as well like take the plunge and get right to it. Because if you want a really fulfilling deck constructing uh, experience, magic is still where it's at. So, um, but this is a nice, quick, you know, not too heavy game, and I like Star Realms. Um, I have, I'm still, I still have a little bit of mixed feelings with Hero Realms, because it's just, it's Star Realms with a fantasy theme, right? Well, except for, so this is, these are the main cards. And, but we have, uh, I don't know all the details, because... I wasn't sure. I didn't know my friend was going to offer me his copy if I wanted it. So I didn't back it, right? So, but, you know, he can always borrow it from me. So it's no biggie. But, um, so this is the difference, the main difference. You have uh, custom character classes. Oops, you can't see the, which they have uh, their special ability. One, one uh, trashable ability. And the other one is a uh, once per turn. And I think they're promo cards too. I'm not sure where the promo cards are. I have to look around. Um, fighter, wizard, ranger. And these all go in your starting deck. Or these are all the starting decks. So you get the score, scoring card. That's one of them. There's another one that goes with it. Thief. Cleric. And these are like the... Um, the Star Realms, I have the multiplayer and solo player card rules, and these this is what this looks like. It looks like a this looks like the boss or something. So every time, it's like the um, you'll have your your pool of cards, right? Imagine these are this is the uh, draw deck. These are the cards out here, and at the end of each round. Like each player will take the turn and do some damage to the the big boss or whatever. And every round, the card on the end will go away. And depending on what symbol it was that went away, will determine what happens here. If it was yellow, this guy gains 5 hit points. If it was green, um, if you have any champion, uh, this guy will stun one of them. If not, you, dis you discard 2 cards if you don't have a champion to stun. Um, blue... This guy, he keeps the revealed card um, and reveals another. I'm not sure what that means if he keeps it. I would have to check the rules on that because on Star Realms, the spaceships don't keep anything. Um, and then sacrifice every card in the market. Ooh, ouch. So, yeah. Um, the blue one threw me off a little bit, but it's pretty much the same. So, I don't know if maybe there are, there are token cards in here and stuff. Because I'm pretty sure this isn't this isn't all uh, bosses. So and then I also got the Star Realms promo pack, which I, I even forgot what was in here. Promo pack one. Wow, this cost me like eight bucks for this. Holy cow. Um, ships and bases. Yeah, I mean it's okay. I haven't even touched Star Realms in a while, so I don't know why I got this. I I guess I just wanted the promos, right? Um, well I, I know why, because I didn't know I had I was gonna I didn't know my friend was gonna offer me his copy. To own, I mean, he, I, I still have to pay for it, right? But to own it, so I thought I might as well get this at least. Then I would have a little something, right? So I already know what's in here. It's like it's got just a basic set of cards, and then a few of them are themed after the ranger or after whatever character it is. Um, yeah, and I guess maybe the uh, I'm guessing the promo cards are in here. So let's open the main box first. Let's see what's in those. I'll open one of the character cards. Um, or one of the decks so you guys can see. Uh, I don't have my knife with me. There's a 
the hole here, so we'll just start tearing here. Then uh, deck of cards. It's a dragon. Yeah, that's just a big dragon. <clears throat> eight. What does that eight mean? I forget. Because you just play cards, and then you get these things. I forget what those are. Maybe they're for some other. Oh, duh. That's the cost. Derp. So yeah, it costs eight gold to purchase from the market. Six gold. So these are the standard cards. I don't know if the character decks are in here. Or like character well duh, the character cards are here. This is part of so if you don't if you're not familiar with the Kickstarter, they have a whole range of games you can play. And um Hero Realms is like three games in one. So the most basic game is like Star Realms. You get the one deck that actually supports four people, I think. Or maybe this is just the two, it supports two people, like the original Star Realms. I don't know, the original Star Realms came in like a single deck box. And I think there's more cards in this. They stick it in a regular box. Telescoping box, I guess that's what they call it, because the lid comes off. Try not to damage the cards as they open this. Okay. Let's see. Red cards. Oop. Green. Now the the uh, heroes have. You can't see them, but they have a special artwork, so you can tell they're the the hero starting cards. And they're unique to each hero. They're generally generally just some fancy artwork down here, like columns or ribbons or something. Okay. Green. Green. Yeah, these are all generic cards. So this is the the very basic. It's just fantasy themed Star Realms at this point. And I will need more sleeves for this stuff. Because they will get handled a lot. Um, yeah. There's that. And then after you sleeve them... They'll no longer fit in the box correctly. Let's see this. Eight minutes already. <clears throat> so the second game obviously is like you get to custom the unique characters. And there's five of them to choose from. The game only supports four people in general. We, although we did play Emperor rules. If you're not familiar with Emperor. I forget. There's another name for it I think. Um, but Emperor is generally... It's a three versus three. Emperor, I don't know if they call it Emperor here, but that's what I got from Magic. Three versus three. You have the, um, the wizard, I guess. My friend called it the commander, but the commander is a different kind of game. But we'll use it for this, this case. So the commander is in between his two captains. Oh, wait, no. He got cap commanders on either side of him, or something. I don't know, his lieutenants or whatever. So the wizards can target the uh, the opposing uh, lieutenants and the wizard uh, across from him, and the lieutenants may only attack the other lieutenants, the whatever's in front of each of them. And then um, when one got, gets knocked out, then the one of the wizards is is uh, exposed on one side, and so that he's vulnerable to attack from uh, the other side if they still have both both their. Um, Lieutenants, so we can get that. See, white. Blue. Yep. And what's... More red. Oh, here. These are the scoring cards. Oh, two for each color. So... 
you'll take like the blue right and they had this for sushi go for years ago and they took they got rid of it for some reason i think this is really clever they also have this for um well actually no they don't i was gonna say they have it for cut through caverns also but this is actually their system for laying down damage you, whichever side is right side up anyways so if you let's say you had 35 hit points you'd have the card here and this is double sided too it can go to like over 80 points right 60 70 and then this is double sided also so if you have more than 80 points you flip over here 80 plus not i guess you can go to 80 plus whatever these are right up to 150 so so you just you're going to count down let's say you have 25 hit points Right, so you'd have 20 and 5, and then every time you got dinged, you drop it down, drop it down, and you get 0, and you turn it, start again. Uh, 10. Oh, wait, 20, oh yeah, so 9, 19, right, 18, 17, and then, you know, you get the picture. That's how that works. So that eliminates having those different cards. With the different the two sided cards with the values. There's too much math, man, you know? <coughs> so you got scoring cards. The generic ones. Again, the the characters have their specific life counters. And then what we have here, more money. Yep, that's it. Generic. We'll open up one of the characters, the unique characters. And you can see all the cool stuff that go, that go with them. Let's do the wizard. So this is all the effort Lava's put into like getting, recapturing that feel for collectible card games. They won't say it, but I know this is it. This, that is it. So we have we get these other games, alternative games that have no collectability, like the living card games. Although the living card games are not much better than CCGs, in my opinion. You take away the the uh, scalping aspect of it. You don't have to worry about getting gouged for prices as far as like getting certain cards however ooh, however there is a, a somewhat a low level collectability aspect to it because some people who want all the sets they're still gonna want to buy all the sets right and that's that's more money and then you might need multiple of the same sets you know it's like getting Getting those pre-built decks from uh, for Magic and getting multiples of those to be able to customize those within themselves, right? Which is really silly. Where that's where Magic excels or collectible card games in that sense. Because even though you're getting a, a random pack of boosters, a lot of them will be commons. And common, right? Common just means that there's a lot of them. And you'll end up with a bunch of stuff you actually don't want to have too much of. You can trade for those. You can sell them. You can use them for print and play games, whatever. So you have the wizard. There's two artworks. There's a female and a male, whichever you want to be. You can see you hit 50 hit points for the male and then 50 hit points for the female. It's the same thing. Then you have one special ability. You trash it. It's powerful. Deal four damage to target player and to each of their champions. Um, and then once per turn, this guy will heal himself for one. If you exhaust it, and pay two gold. And see on the other side, it's just some uh, some tips on how to use the certain character. Um, I think I was the wizard the first time I played, but I didn't understand how it really worked. There's the scoring cards. Two, three, four, five money, and then what's this? Spells, fireballs. Something else. And familiar. Oh yeah, I love this thing. 
uh, you exhaust it for any one of these three things. Um, some other characters, like the cleric, have followers, which I did not realize. They stay out like bases, like um, Star Realms. I didn't know that they did that. I played um, I played the cleric the next time, and I've been scooping up all the followers at the end of my turn, because it's like this familiar. I guess it has a shield on it, right? So I didn't know that. I just knew it stayed out. But the followers have like black black shields, which are like outposts in Star Realms. So you have to kill those in order to um, hit the player directly. So we'll just put these in the box right here. There. And then this one, I guess, is all the promos, promo cards. So we got multiplayer. Oh, it says co op challenge here. Does that have solo also? Maybe. There it is, the solo challenge. Same artwork. So in Star Realms, you had different things. You had like the blob or pirates or something. Um, and then these are the token cards. Oh no, these are creature cards. Oh no, yeah, they're token. They're double sided, just like an epic. I guess you could use the cards in the epic, even though they're not the same exactly. I mean, why not, right? If you need more. That's a zombie on one side, a legionnaire on the other side. Then we have more legionnaires. Different artwork. More zombies. Okay. That's different artwork? Nope, same artwork. These have them different sided facing. Um, let's see. Just a promo card, I guess. Stones of Seeking, Star Soul Amulet, Book of Secrets. Like cool items you can get. Oh, these are, oh yeah, yeah, okay. So these are the unique artwork. This is for the Barbarian. Must be one person, must return or something. This is... What's well, magic, so, well... I don't know, maybe that might be the, uh... Wizard. That looks like a cleric thing. Um... Another barbarian thing. Fighter, maybe fighter, ranger. Bag of holding, yeah. So, we got those promo cards. A bunch of them. Ooh, what's this? Robbery. Okay, just uh, more cards. Um, raining party, I remember that. Yep, yep. Mobia, Elf Lord. Who's that guy? Oh, he's a guard. Look at that, he's six power. Six defense, I mean. This is Kasha the Awakener. Oh, she brings zombies into play. Um, draw a card, discard a card. Oh, a dragon. Dragon fire. Devotion. That's a cleric thing. Paladin or whatever. Yep, yep. Thief. And... For red. Yeah, promo cards are here. Plus solo and multiplayer cards. That's good. I have to find a place for it now, a different place. I wonder if they can fit sideways. Maybe. And instruction booklet is big, map style. Right, you open it up. Um, see, I got a few more minutes. Let's see. Let's see what's in here. Legendary ships. Okay. Sorry, I had to pause to get through this. You think they were had money in here or something? That wrapping's so tough. Let's see, battle barge. Oh, two of those, probably two of each. Oh. Which bases? Cool.
coolness. The arc. Yep, and there you have it, Star Realms and Hero Realms. So, the uh, custom characters, well, the co-op game is another game, right? The custom characters or, or classes is like the second part of the game, make it feel more magic-y. Um, and uh, the third part is an adventure game where you can gain experience and build up your characters and things. Uh, like a uh, campaign based so they really thought they really fleshed this out to like a really full game but that's gonna come in phase two somewhere sometime later next year um, so stay tuned for that and then let's see what else what else can I mess up that's it uh, I think I'm gonna get to playing some Arkham now because, well, cleaning up this place and then playing some Arkham. Because I really, really enjoy that game. I don't know how much Hero Realms I'll be getting into. I really should stop here, but again, I I didn't realize. I thought my friend was going to hang on to it for a bit longer. And he didn't, so. I have a lot of stuff to play. And I should be hosting more events. So you guys stay tuned for that. Till next time. See you later.